presenting the award for, net, for best juvenile fiction will be R.L. Stein. <laughs> As we all know, he has written the best-selling young adults book series in history. So it is totally appropriate that he present this award. A bit of a traffic jam. Hi, I'm so happy to be back. Thank you very much. Um, actually, I'm especially glad to be here. I'll tell you why I'm especially glad. I did a book signing a couple of weeks ago here in New York, and a librarian came up to the table, and she said, can I have my picture taken with you? The kids all think you're dead. <laughs> so that's, that's why I'm especially glad to be here. <laughs> I'm here to present the best juvenile, uh, Edgar. Uh, a, Children's writers are very lucky because we hear from our readers so much. I get wonderful fan mail. I mean, that's really the best part of it. And I thought, here, a couple of weeks ago, I got this letter from a boy. He said, Dear R.L. Stein, I'm a big fan. I know your family and friends are proud of you, no matter what anybody says. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, right? <laughs> Last week, one more. Last week, I got a letter from a girl. Here's the letter. Dear R.L. Stein, you are my second favorite author. <laughs> that was the whole letter. That was it. <laughs> so the nominations <laughs> for Best Juvenile. Fake Mustache, or How Joby O. Rodeo and her wonder horse and some nerdy kid saved the U.S. presidential election from a mad genius criminal mastermind by Tom Engelberger. You know, that title is longer than some of my books. <laughs> really. Uh, 13 Hangmen by Art Corabo. The Quick Fix by Jack D. Ferraiolo. <laughs> Spy School, Spy School by Stuart Gibbs. <laughs> and Three Times Lucky by Sheila Turnage. <laughs> and the Edgar goes to The Quick Fix, Jack D. Ferraiolo. Jack, where are you? Jack was sitting in the parking lot. <laughs> you made it, man. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I didn't actually prepare a speech because I didn't expect this. Um, but uh, thank you. Thank you to the committee. I'd like to thank my uh, heroes and the inspiration for writing this, uh, Ross McDonald, Raymond Chandler, and uh, Richard Breen, who was, uh, wrote uh, Pat Novak for Hire, uh, which was my favorite 40s radio show, which really inspired the voice and uh, tone of the, the Quick Fix. Um, I, I'd like to thank my uh, editor, uh, Susan Van Meter, and my agent, Stephen Barbara, who, when I approached them with the idea of Lou Archer in middle school, they said, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, uh, I'd like to thank my publicist, uh, uh, Jason Wells, for, for, you know, believing in the book and, and telling librarians, you should really get this into, you know, kids' hands. They'll, 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 get a, they'll catch on. Um, uh, but most of all, I'd like to thank my wife, Therese, for, uh, for n not always understanding what I'm doing uh, or why I'm doing it, uh, but, but trusting in me that I need to do it. So thank you, T. I love you. Thank you.